Hey there everyone, Mike Gold here with a tutorial about how to use contact groups on the Mac. And this is contact groups specifically on Outlook 2011. And Outlook 2011 is a new uh, product for the Mac. It's a new Office product. And um, it has some pros and cons, but one of the things that I've, that's been described to me is very frustrating is this feature called contact groups. And so here's a scenario. You've used uh, something that you knew as distribution lists on the PC for many years. And this is your, your new to the Macintosh computer. So one day you show up to work, you get this brand new Macintosh computer on your desktop and this new Outlook 2011 software and your distribution lists are gone and you have no idea how to create them. So do I describe your frustration accurately? <laughs> I know that many people uh, who I serve have come to me and described in so many words how frustrating it is to use this product and how it, that, that they can't get to their distribution lists. To make matters worse, let's say you go out to Google and you're pretty self-supporting and you find this, you find out that on the Mac and on newer versions of Outlook on the PC, there's this new thing called contact groups. Well, on the Mac, you may learn that you can click on contacts, like, just like you would on a PC or anything else, to see all your contacts. And you learn that you can click on this um, icon that says create a new group of contacts. However, it's grayed out. So you click on it and no matter how many times you click on it, you, the, nothing appears and, it, and the feature doesn't work. And that, that makes your frustration even worse. So the first thing we have to do is actually enable the feature. For whatever reason, it's disabled by default on new installs of Outlook, at least Outlook on the Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to the upper left-hand corner, and I see an Outlook menu item there. I'm going to click on that, and then there's, you, you look for the Preferences menu item. Click on that. And then under personal settings, I'm just going to click on the general icon. So in order to enable the feature, I'm going to go ahead and unclick hide on my computer folders. Okay, I unclick that. And I notice that the contact group icon or create a new contact, excuse me, create a new group of contacts icon uh, has appeared. It's um, actually now no longer grayed out. It's enabled. When I see that, I can go ahead and click on the red X here to close the general window. And then I, I notice that I may notice that there's a few more items on this um, menu bar or this uh, item on the left hand side of my screen. So one important thing to notice is that the on my computer item it does not it does not have a checkbox. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and I'll explain that later. But suffice it to say, if I want to see whatever distribution list or what's now known as contact groups in my list here, I will have to make sure the on my computer feature is checked. Basically what that means is, is that the any kind of contact groups that I create are going to be stored on my computer and not at the server. Um, that's, I think, another frustrating um, shortcoming of the software, but hopefully uh, Microsoft will make improvements to that in the future. Okay, so now I want to create a, a new contact group. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the uh, create a new group of contacts icon, upper right hand, or excuse me, upper left hand corner of my screen here. And I see an uh, untitled group. I'll just go ahead and title that group. And then I like to use the use BCC to hide member information. That's actually a nice feature. And now uh, something else that uh, you may find frustrating is in earlier versions of the distribution list feature of Outlook, you could click on add and then select people from either your address list from your main mail system or your local contacts. I have not been able to find a way to do that in this, in this version of, of Outlook. However, um, if I double click to add or if I add the button here, I can type in an email address or, which a feature that I would end up using, I can go ahead and drag and drop from my contact list into this uh, new, excuse me, from my regular contact list into this contact group. Now notice how, it's hard to see on the first one, the first one you add, notice how as I hover over the 
contact group box here, the entitled Important People, as I hover over it, I see a little bl uh, blue line appear. When I see that line appear, I can let go of the contact and it'll add it to the list. So that's not too bad. I can go ahead and just drag and drop the contacts from my list into this group. And as you can see, when I hover over it, it there's a little line. You can see that line up here, there. Sometimes it's easier to see if I have if I don't have anything highlighted there. You can see that line a little bit better. Okay, now I've added the people I want to add to it. It's important to if I, to, when I go to save it, I want to click save and close, and there I have the the uh, list or the contact group important people. Now, again, if you go ahead and do this and you you don't see that in your list of contacts, notice how when I click the on my computer item there, it appears. Okay, again, that's because your contact groups are going to be stored on your computer and not on the email server that you're creating. Now that's pretty much it. In order to send an email out, if I wanted to uh, either send to this group, I can either open up an email and search for this group like I've done in the past, or I can, if I'm in my contacts, I can simply right click, bring up the contacts menu, and I can see new email to contact. It automatically puts it in the BCC because that's where I asked it to go. And in this case, I want to send it to me. That way it'll look like it's coming to me, but it'll also go to these other people. Now, let's say I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to send it to important people here, and I didn't care if other people knew that. I'm going to go ahead and close this and discard changes. I can just, in the important people in this case, or whatever contact group I'm using, I can go ahead and unclick the use BCC to hide member information. And now, when I send to that new email to contact, I guess I had to save and close it, don't I? So I'll open it up, save and close. Now it should, there. Um, now it added it just to the two important people. The, um, the big difference is in BCC, blind carbon copy of course it's going to make it to where you couldn't see who they're going to um, in this case if I if I receive this I, it would show me all the different people it's going to it's just a personal preference whether you want to hide those email addresses or it doesn't matter and there you have it uh, in this um, tutorial we learned how to enable contacts uh, enable contact groups Make sure we know how to uh, see them on the computer and uh, email right out of the contact uh, area to that group. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and maybe uh, helpful in reducing your frustration as you transition from older versions of Outlook or uh, Outlook from the PC to Outlook for the Mac. Again, this is Mike Gold with a tutorial about how to use contact groups on the Mac. Thanks for watching.